As the largest vaccination campaign in U.S. history continues tonight, there's a group of people who say not so fast. And that group is people of color. Tyler Paley reports the hesitancy stems from long-standing mistrust with the medical field. If you're in search of a living lesson in history, look no further than Port Clinton's own Harold Brown. I have seen a few things in my days, and I've had a few experiences. A modest way to say he's seen it all in his 95 years of life. Brown was a Tuskegee Airman serving in World War II, stationed everywhere from Japan to Italy. He fought for the red, white, and blue at a time America saw folks who looked like him as disposable. In the mid-20th century, hundreds of black people were subject to an infamous health experiment called the Tuskegee Experiment, which originated in Tuskegee, Alabama. They were injected with syphilis, tricked into believing the government was giving them free health care. Of course, the participants had no idea of exactly what uh, was going on with them. Um, and this experiment actually went on for a very, very long time. Uh, it was formally withdrawn in, I think, 1972. Donnie Miller leads the Neighborhood Health Association. She often hears how people of color are hesitant to get vaccinated against COVID-19. People like 45-year-old Toledoan Lonnie Hamilton. It's extremely terrifying, especially in the black community, because we have been used historically for such a long period of time as guinea pigs. Hamilton spends most of his days here, working on the stock team at the Toledo Jeep plant. He says he takes the pandemic seriously, but he's not yet sold on the vaccine. And it's sad because we want to slow down the spread. We want to, you know, stop this thing in, in, in its tracks, as they say. But at the same time, we want to live and we don't want to have that adverse effect. A December survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation found 35% of black adults said they would probably or definitely not get vaccinated. An Associated Press analysis found less than 6% of black Ohioans have been vaccinated, while more than 8% of the state's black population is eligible. Harold Brown received his first dose of the COVID vaccine, but understands why others have chosen not to. And even to this day, there is a tremendous amount of distrust, which uh, a lot of people looking like me feel. And they just do not trust the government. And perhaps rightly so, and I can understand where there would be some distrust. We do need to, to um, do some recovery there, uh, regain trust and, uh, and make up for lost ground because of um, you know, things that have happened in the past. Is there anything that can be said or done that would convince you, look, this is safe, this is the best way forward? I would have to, I would have to see more research. Um, for me personally, it would just have to be more time. Miller argues beyond that, there's a need for healthcare reform, meaning more data and better information. Educate yourself. And at the end of the day, you'll make the decision that's best for you and your family. And I really hope that it is one that gets you toward the vaccine. Brown, Miller, and Hamilton all agreed that getting vaccinated is a choice that's made after research from trusted sources. And we here at WTOL 11 want to help you get the most accurate information. That's exactly why we're holding a live Q&A this Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. We'll ask our panel of experts your questions. So all you need to do is send them to us by text at 419-248-1100 or email them to vaccine at WTOL.com.